Hello, I'm Kendra, and here at Hook by Happenstance, it is time for another installment of Yarn Tales. Yarn Tales is my ongoing series where I read books, I tell you about them, and then I add a segment to my ongoing reading shawl. You may notice that I am not in my usual backdrop, it is because I'm currently traveling, so I am in the guest room at my parents' house. So I was just going to tell you about a book that I read way back in January and I just haven't gotten around to telling you about. So the book is called As Simple as Snow by Gregory Galloway. It is, I guess it was originally written as an adult book, but it has been kind of embraced as though it's a YA. It's a story of a teenage boy whose name we never find out and his interactions with a girl who he calls Anna. And it's supposed to be, I guess, a mystery thrillery thing, which is not my usual genre. I'm not exactly sure why I even decided to listen to this book, but um, I think it was purely because of the cover, because this is what the cover looks like. Isn't it beautiful? Like the cover alone, I still, I look at the cover and the cover makes me feel like this should be a better book than I felt like it was. Now the book has a lot of open-ended everything, which is part of the reason why I just really did not enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it from the standpoint of it's not my usual genre. I don't really like mysteries. I don't really care. Most of this book left me with I don't really care. And I kept thinking there's going to be that thing that's going to tie it all together and suddenly I will care. And it just, it never really happened. Basically Anna and the boy have a relationship and then Anna disappears in like a weird way. And he starts thinking back over their entire relationship, trying to piece together what happened and what he thinks was like her end like what her fate is um and it and it leaves you with all the questions and none of the answers and basically that's just annoying so here is my reading shawl as it currently stands and i will try and hold it up but as we know it's getting longer than my wingspan so here are the last couple books that i added this is Turtles All the Way Down, and this is The Romantics. And now it's time to add a segment for As Simple as Snow. So what to do for a book you don't like um, is always an interesting question. And as I'm reading through books now, I've kind of mentioned that I now read them. I, I listen to it by audiobooks. That way I can keep, keep the hooks moving. So as I'm reading, I go through and like the whole time I'm thinking like, what colors could I use? What thing stands out? Is there a symbol? You know, I'm thinking about this shawl while I'm reading. It's changed the way I read. I think for the better, like it gives me something to focus on. And I decided that there is some code that is discussed in the book, like a Morse code and like codes that are played over and over on radio signals. So I'm going to use this skein of soft white for snow because Anna and the boy have a discussion about how snow is not as simple as it seems. Haha, <laughs> hence the name as simple as snow. So I'm going to use the soft white instead of a standard white because it's just a little off and the story was a little off. And I am going to stitch the Morse code for the word snow. So I'm going to do like the longs and the shorts. The longs I'm going to do in double crochets and the shorts I'm going to do as single crochets because a double crochet is three times taller than a single crochet. And in Morse code, the long lines, or like the long sounds or the drawn lines are three times, like they're three spaces for every one space of dot. So the dits are one dot, the dats are three lengths. So doubles and singles. So I'm gonna go and put that into the shawl and then I will show you the finished segment. Adding the section didn't take me that long. It did take me a bit to come back and film this segment, but this was actually a pretty quick section. So the white is what I added and it is that slightly off white. And I used a J hook and I basically just used Morse code to spell out the word snow, S-N-O-W. And the way Morse code works is it is a series of long and short tones. So here is the, the finished section, my own, little, my own little code. So frankly, my section of the shawl was way more simplistic than the book itself, but I think more answers are found in that segment than the entirety of the book. So on the screen next to me, you will find links to the other videos in the series in case you missed them, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!